Well, the progressive squad is stumbling, and now another far-left House Democrat could be on the chopping block. First, it was Jamal Bowman of New York, and now Missouri Congresswoman Cori Bush is treading water, too. New polling by a pro-Israel PAC shows her losing by one point to her primary challenger. But what's really telling is how she's given up a 16-point lead since January. Here now, someone who just won their primary, Colorado Congresswoman Lauren Boebert. Congresswoman, you just won your primary in a new district because I believe they redistricted you. Uh, and you're watching this squad go. Good riddance, right? Yes, this is what America has been waiting for. So I did just win my primary in Colorado's 4th District. My boys and I uh, moved over there earlier this year. And seeing these primary results come in are very telling. And even AOC's reaction, I haven't seen AOC this upset since she arrested herself with fake handcuffs. <laughs> but the bottom line is this. Moderate Democrats are defeating radical leftists across the country because they took it way too far. For many Americans, being a Democrat used to be a political affiliation. Now, for many, it's a religion. And thank God that many American voters are rejecting that. Even in downtown Denver, one of the most progressive areas in America right now, voters re rejected their extreme progressive incumbent state, rep state representative in favor of a moderate. Mm -hmm. They've seen thousands of illegals come into their city, putting a huge burden on our hospitals and law enforcement, even defunding police officers to support these illegal aliens. And the only response um, uh, from progressives, get used to it or we'll call you a racist. Right. Voters <laughs> are tired of that and they demanded a change on Tuesday. And now we are seeing even more extreme squad members who are vulnerable like Cori yeah. Bush and even Ilhan Omar. And uh, I believe even in her last primary, she only won by about one percentage point. Right. So she was vulnerable even then. And I think it's only worse now with all of their yeah. anti-Semitic remarks. Yeah, Congress